crazy mother. Tray flips, oh tray flips. Now I have like, I think one or two other videos on my channel about how to do tray flips, but it was a really long time ago and I'm still getting comments and stuff about tray flips. So this video is gonna be a lot more into detail and a lot quicker than the videos I already have on my channel. Because since then I've got so many new subscribers that I'm pretty sure you guys haven't seen uh, those videos. So I'm making a new one, a new like updated one. And this one's gonna be a lot quicker because my old ones are like 12, 13, 14 minutes long. This one I'm gonna try and keep to like five minutes. So I'm gonna try and tell you guys a lot in a short amount of time and hopefully it helps you guys out I'm sorry if you guys hear the planes throughout this video but literally every two minutes there's a plane but anyway first things first is the foot placement okay now I'm goofy so if you guys are goofy this is gonna be probably a lot easier for you because you could just watch like how you're gonna be skating but anyway foot placement here's my foot placement for an ollie something like that for a tray flip though you're gonna want to put it like that have your toes hanging off the edge of the board right there like have the ball of your big toe on this little scoop area right there just like that now tray flips are all about the scoop just like that if you guys can do that like basically just make the board go 360 with your back foot then tray flips should be easy for you boom just like that okay now front foot this is my foot position for like dude these fucking planes man holy shit this is my foot placement for like a kick flip now for a tray flip I want to point it a little bit more like that and then put it more towards the middle of the board like that just like that that's my tray flip stance right there. I'm gonna try and tray flip right now with my camera in my hand. Oh, I did it, see, exactly like that. So just like that, that's my foot placement right there. Okay, the number one thing that people don't usually tell you in tray flip trick tips is not to jump forward or anything like that, but to jump straight up. Like jumping straight up is so much easier because the board stays right under you. So as you're doing the tray flip, you're gonna wanna pop it, scoop it, flick, and then just jump straight up. Don't jump this way, don't jump that way. Just go straight up, it's so much easier. And honestly, you don't need to flick a lot for this trick. I found out that like flicking a lot less actually helps it because like I said, this is all in your back foot. Your back foot is what's making it go 360. So your front foot doesn't do that. Your front foot just flicks it. And honestly, you flick more for a kick flip than you do for a tray flip. Once your back foot gets the board spinning like this, all your front foot has to do, like I said, your foot's in the middle. So you don't have to flick all the way up like this, like a kick flip. You're just gonna go bink, just like that. And once you flick like right there, like bam, it's just gonna work out so easily. Like once your back foot gets the whole rotation, it's so easy from there. It's probably gonna feel really weird at first trying to pop, flick, and jump straight up all at the same time, but once you get the feeling of having your board go 360 all with your back foot, it's so easy and just, like the secret is to jump straight up, that's it. Like if you try to jump forward or jump in front of the board or anything like that, or if you try to jump where the board is going, the board's just gonna get away from you, it's just gonna, you're just gonna land away from your board. And a lot of people, um, like the main problem with tray, flip is, tray flips is like, you get the flick, you get the spin, you get all of that, you basically do the tray flip, but your front foot lands on your board and your back foot lands off the board. And that's usually because people are jumping away from their board. They're jumping forward or backwards or in front of it. But if you jump straight up, like I said, the board just stays completely under you and it makes it so much easier. Just like a pop shove it. When you do a pop shove it, you go straight up and it just spins perfectly under you. Same thing with the tray flip. It's no different. Another fucking plane. Holy shit, man. But anyway, even if you can't do a tray flip, I'm pretty sure you can at least do this. Like, I'm pretty sure you can at least like do something like that. As long as you can like form a tray flip, like as long as you can just form it at least like that, as long as you can do that, you're on the right track already. The only thing you need to do from there is just commit, jump straight up, and just work at it, honestly. Dude, I'm so surprised I can do that with my camera in my hand. But as long as you can form it, you pretty much have it. You just have to jump straight up, commit to it. And once you see the grip tape, like once you're doing the tray flip and once you see the grip tape like right there. I said this in my pre previous videos too. Don't focus on trying to catch it with your front foot. You don't need to do that when you're very first learning how to do this. The only thing you want to focus on is just landing it. Whether you catch it with your front foot, whether you catch it with your back foot, whether you catch it with both feet, it doesn't matter as long as you land on the board. When I first learned tray flips, I was catching them with like both of my feet at the same time for the longest time, but I was landing them and that's all that matters is just landing it. That's really honestly it for tray flips. Like they're not really that hard. Like if you can do a tray flip with your board without landing on it, you're on the right track already. Like I said, tray flips, they're all about the scoop and the jump. If you scoop it right and you jump straight up, the board should just do the whole thing right underneath you. 
and then at that point it's all about how you land it. I know catching tray flips with your back foot may seem kind of like weird, like what, like that's not supposed to happen, but I used to land them like that until I got better at them. When you're first learning this, it doesn't matter how you catch it as long as you're landing it. Another fucking plane, man. Where is it? There you are, exposed. If these tips help you guys, let me know in the comments. If you're still having trouble, let me know in the comments. Just tell me anything about tray flips in the comments. Hopefully this helped you guys. Leave all your thoughts and everything in the comments, and yeah. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. I just be balling like swoosh. Put the ice on my neck. 25th, I just spent the check. Trash rolly, I just wanna protect. Yeah. Fuck on your bitch, a cabana. Ooh. Feed your bitch.